Mike McCool here. I'm in the Royal Examiner studio. and With me this morning is Dr. Michael Smith. Dr. Smith is the principal of Skyline High School, mm -hmm. and he wants to talk to us about some important uh, items that affect accreditation at the school. So, Dr. Smith, uh, okay. let's start with number one. Number one is that attendance has become a major issue when it comes to state accreditation. Uh, previous years, it's always been about SOL scores. Right, right. Well, now it's few SOL scores, uh, graduation rate, and the big one is accreditation. Skyline High School is a school that is accredited, but it is with conditions, and the conditions is the chronic absenteeism. Skyline last year was that we were at 29% chronic absenteeism, which to break that down means that 29% of our student body missed 18 days or more. Wow. So uh, that is something we're definitely are trying to improve, and I'm here to get the message out to the community of how important this is to uh, to the community and to uh, Skyline High School and its students. I do not want to see in a few years where Skyline becomes unaccredited, and uh, I just, that, that will not, I don't want to see that. Not going to happen. Not going to happen. I'm going to do everything we can. <laughs> not not to a legacy you want to have on your no, resume. No, not at all. Well, it sounds like the state has taken a, uh, has kind of flopped around on the accreditation and making mm -hmm. a more holistic, a right. whole person like medicine. You know, right, we're going to do right. the whole, you know, we're going to treat the whole family and the whole body, mm -hmm. you know. So it sounds like, this, although SOLs are important, they're going to look mm -hmm. at other factors. Right. Yes. Because yeah, you know what's what schools do. They'll just concentrate on one area. And that's, they, that's what it's been for a while with uh, not just Skyline, but with all schools. Right. They, they so. focus on that one thing to get mm -hmm. their get their score up and then to neglect the other Nick, things. Absolutely. I asked you earlier if you have truant officers like they did when we were in school. You know, they, they come <laughs> knocking on your door looking for you 15 minutes after the bell rang, right, you know. Right. We have one gentleman who's a truant uh, officer for, he does all four secondary schools in the county. Wow. That's one uh, guy. That's a lot a, of. That's a lot of doors. He's got to, a very tough job. Sometimes, uh, you know, I, I'm wondering. Uh, you know, you watch on, and you hear. Well, I didn't even know my kid was out of school. Mm -hmm. I can remember when you know, if we skipped school and eons ago, yeah. you know, the, they were the, the the phone rang 15 right. minutes, you know, and they mama goes on the phone and, where's your kid? <laughs> we uh we actually have a robo caller now that goes out at 10 o'clock in the morning. That alerts parents that the kid's not where they're supposed to be. Right. And it also goes out again at 6 o'clock in case kids didn't show up at the end of, uh, the, end of the school day, too. Right. So. Or they're there and they uh -huh. answer the phone. And, you know, cheap right. mama, well, the phone called. You didn't hear yeah. it. Yeah. That's right. Well, you know, I, I noticed that one of the, at the elementary school where my grandson goes at E. Wilson, uh, they got an app. The teacher has an app mm -hmm. on the phone, and they'll, they'll, uh, message my daughter through the day he she can look and see what he's done how well right. he's done done his homework i thought well, technology is, technology is, <laughs> is, is where's too. a teacher find time to fill the app out right know? right <laughs> but Absolutely. it is a, it is a you know technology is it's almost like having gps on these kids yes, i'm wondering uh you know with their phone i can track their cell phone and tell them where they're at Absolutely. I know I can find my kids when I need to. <laughs> so but, what's the plan? Uh, how, are you, how are we addressing this issue on this, uh, on this absenteeism? We have uh, several um, ideas that we're doing, uh, trying everything we can, everything from basic forming relationships with kids by meeting them at the door, you know, welcoming them. Uh, we have principals that actually meet the kids when they come into the building, uh, you know, ask them how they're doing. Uh, we have that. We have uh, students that have missed time. We have teacher mentors assigned to them, and the mentors uh, make contact daily or weekly with a parent, with a kid, and then they document that. So that's what we're doing right now. Uh, I have been holding meetings uh, with parents and students to come up with some type of plan of what we can do uh, to help their student get there. We've even went and picked up a couple kids. So. We will do whatever it takes to get our students in the classrooms. Well, you mentioned meeting the students at the door, and maybe someone will kind of poo-poo that idea, saying, oh, that's, that's fluff. But, you know, that, that works. It does, and it's uh, actually a big initiative uh, in the county for every school to do that. And uh, People feel like, you know, it's just like it's a positive reinforcement. Right. That you're trying to, you know, people don't know how much you know or don't know how much you care. What, what's right. it, how, you know, what, oh, Zig Ziglar always preached yeah. it, you know, people don't know how much you know, don't care how much you know yeah. until they know how much you care. Right, That's a, right, And absolutely. I think that reflects all the way down to our children. And, absolutely. Uh, we have to, and it can, it's got to be real. 
and I think uh, the people that I've met in the school system, they seem real, and, and most people that's, that have made mm -hmm. it past their first year uh, want to be teachers. Absolutely. Be Absolutely. We have, uh, and students that come, we have a variety of opportunities for students to get involved, and I think that's the big thing if we get these students involved. Uh, of course, a variety of athletic programs, academic programs. Uh, we have 14 AP dual enrolled classes. We actually have students that can graduate uh, with an associate's degree and their high school diploma. That's, that's something I wish we had uh, when I was in high school. I thought that's a great program. Yeah, it is. It is a great it's, program. It's, it's a parents, low cost. Save parents a lot of money. It does if they does. take advantage of it. Absolutely. But with these students, if, they, if we could get them into school, get them involved in anything, basically all the clubs that we have. Because you have a lot of technical things. I mean, you know, everyone's mm -hmm. not going to be a brain surgeon when they come oh, out of absolutely. school. And, uh, you know, now there's a big push on these blue-collar blue -collar right. jobs. And, and I know the Blue Ridge Tech Center has a lot of opportunities. Right. Electricity, carpentry. Robotics. Automotive, <laughs> robotics, I was real, I went over. Yeah, they have a lot of things. They yeah. do. They do. So you just have to get someone interested, and I think people have to know that the kids in school have to Really, sometimes no one knows you. I'm even here. I'm a nobody, but mm -hmm. uh, it's a it's a lot of work. I mean, it we is. know how much it is raising two or three kids in a family. Mm -hmm. I can imagine trying to raise six hundred. Eight hundred eighty nine. Oh, eight hundred. Excuse me. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's why you. I know it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, can, I had hair until I went into education. Yes. Yes. I know <laughs> it. But uh, like I said, this truancy thing is is serious. I, I was telling you early before we went we came in here that. It's a reflection on getting even people to come to work. It's a learned behavior. Absolutely. This absentee thing is, is really between your ears. Absolutely. You know, we have to get that attitude, I think, uh, that it's really important. And parents, really, it boils down to the parents sometimes. And they do try hard. Yes. I know some that yes, they do. have done everything they could to get that kid yes, in school. They, they drop them off at the door, watch them walk in, mm -hmm. and they turn right around and walk out right. the back door. I, right. I, I Luckily, know. there's not too many places they can go at Skyline. <laughs> no, so, uh, that's true. There's no hangouts yeah, around the no corner, hangouts, is it? Not at no, all. No. But we got a, a lot of work to do because currently we have 31.6% of our students have missed five days or more. Yeah. Because uh, we have that Challenge 5 program. Challenge 5 program, absolutely. Right, right. Absolutely. And we're right. doing incentives for the kids, too. The first uh, advisory, kids that met certain criteria. We let them out of fourth block a little bit and had popcorn for them. Sure. This next uh, opportunity, we're going to have them at the 20th of December. Kids that meet uh, two days absences within the second nine weeks and um, no more than 12 total tardies for school or classes. We're going to have them down and give them some hot chocolate and spread some well, cheer well, and see, the problem see what is, we can do. The problem is you've eliminated sugar. <laughs> and, and food rewards. Right. Well, there's your problem right yeah. there. If you have food rewards, put them donuts out there in the morning. <laughs> Absolutely. That would definitely work. <laughs> and we definitely would take donations of donuts. There we go. <laughs> we like the donuts. But, Absolutely. you know, it's, it's true. Uh, small things make a big difference. I think just people involved with students and, mm -hmm. and find mentors, mm -hmm. uh, mentors, uh, right. you know, um, try to get people involved in their life, you know, because mm -hmm. I'm sure a lot of this is... I don't want to use the word depressed, but it's kind of a form of depression when kids mm -hmm. don't really get involved. They're loners, you know. That's what they right. called them when we were. We're loners, you know. Right. But you know, we're always involved in something. We're just not involved in the in right. the right things, maybe. So, Absolutely. so what else are you going to do? I mean, uh, well, we. Uh... I know you're serious about this. It's like the yes, bullying I, uh, program. I mean, there's a absolutely. couple a couple projects I know the school system is working on, and uh, it kind of like it seems to go hand in hand. You mm -hmm. know, sometimes these these issues because they're all attitude right, issues, right. not absolutely. really about learning skills or right, anything. Right. But it's it's this. You know, maybe we need to teach. How do we teach attitudes? Mm -hmm. I, I don't know. I, mean, I don't know how to do that. I've never majored in that. We have one, to so. get you a, a, a CD here of uh, Zig Ziglar preaching his yeah. his kids. You know, <laughs> I'll put that over the intercom. Yeah, put over the intercom. It's up there. We uh, we're going to continue with the mentor program, and I'm, uh, principals are going to tend to have meetings with parents and just see what we can do. Uh, we uh, the state and the county we have a tiered system of approach for it. Uh, from tier one to tier three, obviously tier three is the worst, mm -hmm. which is 20% or more. The state wants us to be at 10%, no more than 10% chronically absent. Even that's still a lot. That is a lot. But most schools in the state 
are, are doing Covers it. They're at least right one or at least uh, tier one or tier two. So wow, we wow. can do it. I just need to get the just importance get, out. It, it is important. I mean, this is something that, you know, graduating from high school was just the beginning. Mm -hmm. I mean, I can remember people say, oh, it's the end. I'm never going to school. But that's really the beginning stage. Yes, it is. It's not the end. It's the beginning. Mm -hmm. and, and I think that... Uh, we just have to stress that importance that you know, find something. But I do know that that uh, having it's kind of like I, I use like the AA groups and the, the twelve step programs mm -hmm. where they have accountability to some other people, right. and that's kind of what the mentor program Absolutely. is. And and when other people are when you're accountable to other people, I think mm -hmm. people have a tendency to respond to that. And I think that's right. and to other students and, and just sharing that idea, get it out there. It's I mean, you got to crack the whip. I mean, I don't know. Well, can't but, do that anymore. Well, but, you know, in, in attitude. Yeah. But I don't know. I don't, I don't know how you do it. Uh, and I appreciate the effort that uh, the school system does. But then the other side, parents just rely on the school to do everything. Sometimes, and, sometimes. And, and, but uh, it's just establishing those relationships with the families. I think is so. what we need to continue to work on. Yeah. And get the kids involved. That way they want to come to school for they reasons. They want to do it. It's, it's, it's a... I think that's the thing too. I notice that the kids have to want to go. Absolutely, yeah. and that, you know a lot of the teachers use Google Classroom, which is online, and mm -hmm. kids can do some of the work uh, from home if they're actually sick. But right. it's not the same as being in a classroom. It's not the same. At it's all. not the same. You know, it's like remote workers. It, it, it's fine, but you still need that right. social interaction. Absolutely. And those are the skill sets. You know, I can learn to read, write, and arithmetic, mm -hmm. but it's those social skills and the street smart, so to speak, that we oh, all definitely. really need. Your kids learn so much in high school away from academics and athletics. Uh, it's basically, you know, human interaction. That's right. It's where life and, begins. Uh, it helps them in their future. It is. Well, we got to stress that. And you got to be there to do it. Absolutely. And I think that's the thing, and, and stress the importance of, of showing up. You know, Absolutely. I, and if they have a problem or... or uh, and I think sometimes they get behind. Mm -hmm. Students get behind, so it's easier to get farther behind. Right. And I'm sure you you mm -hmm. face that. I I I can tell you that's, you know, I hate getting behind. Right. Because you can never so catch I. up. I hate get behind. So, uh, anything we can do to help get the word out, we we will. Well, and, appreciate uh, it. And uh, we'll stress the importance of it. Absolutely. And, and we'll keep us informed of what's going you know. on. Any new programs, um, involvement that we can do to help, okay. we will do it. I know if uh, any parents out there need any assistance with anything, uh, my staff, I'm lucky to work with a great staff, a great admin team. Uh, we'll do anything we can for these kids and these families. So if parents feel like their kids, there's a problem, just reach out to the school. Absolutely. And, and uh, we'll, you'll work together with them. Yes, we will. Uh, that's great. That's yes, great. That's what we need. Parents yes. need to know that. Yes, we, we really do. appreciate it. Thanks yes, again, sir. Dr. Smith. Thank you. Appreciate it. Nice to glad uh, that you're at the helm, and we'll we'll uh, we'll keep an eye on you. Make sure you. Well, I appreciate it. Somebody <laughs> has to. <laughs> again, thanks a lot. Thank you.